Hi, my name is Jesse Fee. I'm a personal trainer, boxing coach, and self-defense instructor from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And these are my adventures in fitness. Hey folks, just got done with my heavy lifts for today. Um, I'll run through a little bit how my day went. Uh, got up early, got picked up by my training partner Izzy at about 8.45, got down to Kosciuszko Community Center. We did about 45 minutes of boxing. Uh, so prior to that, of course, I ate my breakfast, uh, oatmeal, yogurt, flaxseed oil, raisins, black tea. Uh, we did about 45 minutes of boxing. Uh, my client and friend Chase showed up and uh, she warmed up with Izzy and then I finished off her workout with some sparring and pad work. So basically I did like an hour and a half of boxing with these folks. Um, so that ended around 10.30, maybe I got home quarter 11. Uh, that's when I eat my second meal. I ate oatmeal with more yogurt. I put some cocoa powder in there and I drank a, a yerba mate caffeine drink uh, from the, from the co-op. Um, and I took uh, about three grams of creatine monohydrate and got down to the gym probably like 11, 30, 12, whatever. And by then, that extra nutrients and that hour or more of rest had me feeling completely set. So I did my five sets of five back squats. Um, I'm up to 235 pounds now. Uh, I got some videos of that. I show you where to put the bar and how deep to go. Uh, then I do my three sets of 10 finisher of front squats. I'm up to 150 pounds for that. Uh, every cycle, maybe it's a seven to 10 day cycle. It all depends on how much rest I get in the week, uh, whatnot. Every cycle I go up just by using the two and a half pound plates. So I go up by five pounds on each lift. Uh, today I was super energetic, but, and, and I was also filming. So I had that extra kind of adrenaline, but I did not increase my weights prematurely because next cycle I might not be feeling as strong for my lifts. So I'm just going to keep only going up five pounds every, you know, week, week and a half or whatever on, on my heavy lifts. Uh, that'll keep me from overdoing it and it'll keep me from getting too sore to do all the boxing and other lifts that I have to do in, in my weekly, in my week or week and a half cycle. All right. Uh, so uh, feel free to check out. So I'll show you my videos next of the lifts, the squats that I did today. And uh, I'll also have a clip of me sparring, maybe a round of sparring with Izzy too. Uh, so keep at it, folks. Enjoy your day. All right. This is the proper way to do squats, especially if you're a power lifter. Uh, notice how I'm not facing a mirror. That way I don't have to use my eyes to lift it's called nice. all right see how i'm squat squatting and my ass drops deeper than my knees that's what engages the glutes and hamstrings for this motion also notice how far down i put the bar on my back it's not even close to my neck it's down down my traps a ways it takes some shoulder flexibility uh that's the right way the place to put the bar um when you squat this deep, you really got to contract your abs, especially at the bottom of the lift. And that's what gets you up. See how slow that went. All right. So I do five sets of five, and then I move on to a finisher set of three sets of ten of front squats here. Uh, unfortunately, I've been experiencing elbow pain because I box so much uh, from these. So I had to drop it down a bit, but this has been a good routine for anyone who doesn't have to worry about that. I do front squats. Uh, it really contracts your abs in a magnificent way. This is how you build up your core in crazy ways. Uh, so this is a great finisher. All right, so you know I already said I ate twice today. Uh, I ate at like 8 a.m. Then I ate at, before my boxing workout, I ate at uh, 11 before my heavy lift. And then I don't wait long after the lifting to eat again so this is when I eat my big meal a big meal not just yogurt and shit like that so I got some meatloaf here that my friend Emily made for me she's new this is the first time she ever made this so it's kind of goofy but it's actually a really delicious leftover so 
it's got a lot of carbs in there and meat, so protein, uh, fat. You need all that stuff, especially when you're boxing and and trying to grow as a lifter. You need to put those calories back. You need to get those carbohydrates back in your muscles. All right, so I'm going to eat this now, and then probably right now it's like one one thirty, so probably around 4.30 I'm going to eat again because uh, then i got to go walk over to the Kosciuszko Center and help coach the kids class that I just started being involved in. Uh, so then I'll probably eat right after that, probably like 7.30 or something, because then I'm going to go play cards with my friends. And then I might end up eating again at 10 o'clock. So that's that's the life of an athlete. I got to eat, what was that, like five meals in a day. Try to get me three or 4,000 calories, hopefully. Uh and that way I can recover well for tomorrow because I have a feeling I'll still be strong enough to do some more lifts. I got to train a lot of people tomorrow, so who knows if I'll have the time, but we'll see what's up. So there you go. Eat your food. Meal number four at 4.30. It's uh, three whole eggs, three egg whites cooked in coconut oil, and a shitload of brown rice and some salt. All right, on my way to the Kazi Center right now to go train some young amateur boxers. See, so I'm on Lincoln Avenue. You can see the Basilica up ahead. Uh, white people in the suburbs are terrified of this part of town. They actually think Milwaukee is like a whole war zone, and it's really fucking stupid because it's not. I live here my whole life. I walk everywhere, any time of the day and night. And even of course, you're supposed to take precautions, but I've never been hassled or, in, or anything. So, sad. Uh, Milwaukee is the most segregated city in the United States. Uh, right here is the Hispanic uh, community. And further north is known as the black community. And honestly, I, I like Hispanic people. I love black people, so. I don't have a problem seeing their faces. I come this way all the time. Uh, I've been meeting a lot of great people, cool people. So I'm just gonna keep this up. Uh, I'm real excited. This is gonna be my first time training with these kids. My buddy's son, D'Angelo, who's uh, planning on be going pro soon after he graduates, he's a senior. So we gotta get them ready to be champions. Uh, and then we can be known as champion trainers too. So that's even better. All right, I'll show you the Kazi Center when I get there. All right, here we are at the community center. I love that place. It's places like this that allow trainers to be themselves and charge reasonable rates and still make it in the fitness industry. Whereas most of the gyms kind of just use their trainers for profit, treat them like marketers instead of real fitness people, stuff like that. So. Uh, this part of town has improved dramatically in the last 30 years. It's this poor part of town. It's part of people's worries. But my oldest friend and his girl live over here. Friend up the block. A mutual friend of theirs up the block. Uh, some friends of mine own a building right across from Seneca, Basilica. So it's moves like that that help improve neighborhoods. And it's what Milwaukee needs in a lot of ways. All right, so uh, instead of being fearful and running around worrying about stealing, people stealing your shit, maybe you should just like dress reasonably and go to places and reach out and meet some strangers and you'll discover that it's just a bunch of people like you who are worried about their families and stuff and want to see the property improve too. So there you go. We're going to head in, but I'm not going to take any film of the insides today. Uh, because I'm not sure if the boxing club wants me to do that yet. But uh, I think tomorrow morning, or no, Thursday morning, I'll be taking some video of my, my friend sparring. So we'll get you then. See ya. Meal, fifth meal of the day. It's, it's East Garden's uh, curry chicken. Well, and I only order curry chicken from Chinese yeah. restaurants because that's like the only safe thing. Though I hear, what, sesame fish is good from there? Mm -hmm. So what is this, maybe like 800 calories worth of stuff? 
And I'm addicted, I'm totally addicted to fortune cookies. So we got this one, it says, uh, good thoughts come from the heart. Uh, so maybe before I go to sleep, I'll jam down 600 calories of graham crackers or something. So I'll probably be at like 3,500 calories today. But uh, that's it, another successful day.